Hello, I'm Bridget Drescher, and welcome to this episode of The Blast Light. While the film industry seems weighted towards Hollywood and other blockbuster films, the industry is actually quite multicultural. Welcome to today's segment of The Blast Light, where we'll be diving into the fascinating topic of multicultural foreign films with the Vancouver International Film Festival. I think part of what we do is to try to keep other cultures alive, so to encourage diversity and to be curious about the world at large. So part of our mandate is to uh, help the understanding of other nations through the art of cinema and to share our multicultural society uh, with each other. So you can hear the different languages of the world, you can travel through cinema to these different places. So it's a great way to provide a window into other nations. The audience that comes to see international films can enjoy other cultures through the power of cinema. But also, it's very important that filmmakers learn from best practice around the world. So for an American filmmaker here to see Vancouver and for Vancouver filmmakers to meet Brazilian filmmakers, Chinese filmmakers, that's what it's all about. It's an exchange of, of the art form that is cinema. Not every filmmaker can show their films in the theater. So it, uh, like Vancouver International Film Festival, definitely offers them um, like a, a big platform for them to show their films to express their ideas. Um, that's, uh, that's one of the like, important things that I think um, Vancouver International Film Festival offers those uh, Asian new filmmakers. With so much diversity within the multicultural community, Vancouver International Film Festival gets help from several third parties. Among them, Fairchild Radio, a Chinese radio station located in Vancouver, Canada. I think FIF is very important um, here in Vancouver because, um, well, we live in a multicultural city, Vancouver. We would like to know more about the people around us, where they came from, what their culture is, or maybe what does their country look like. Uh, of course, we would focus partly on the Asian movies because we are all from Asia, right? But we do encourage people to go to see other movies because it's a very good chance to see those movies. You, you, you can't uh, find any time within those 14 or maybe 16 days where you can see so many, so many good films. I love seeing foreign language films because um, um, you can see how they shot the movies, you can see how they present the movies. So maybe it's the same thing, it's the same theme. The way they convey their messages is different. So I think uh, RIF is very important so that um, in a way uh, it brings us uh, around the world. I see what we do in the arts as an extension of education. What's the point of life, really? Why, why get educated in the first place? It's not just to make money. It's to enjoy life, to broaden your horizons, to become wiser, and to enjoy art. It's amazing how despite all the cultural differences, film festivals can flourish as multicultural, diverse events that bring people in from all over the world. What's your favorite foreign film? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Bridget Drescher, and thank you for watching this episode of The Blast Light.